Good morning, Claire Ronan here. Welcome to this week's Up and Running. Coming up on this morning's show, I catch up with Neil Faulkner from Sligo Tourism. I headed out to Manor Hamilton in Leitrim to catch up with Breege Turidas, who has opened a new restaurant there, Osta at W8. But first this morning, with the rise in burglaries in the local area, I decided to catch up with Jason Mills, who's a security advisor with local business PowerRight. PowerRight have been in business in the Northwest for the last 35 years, providing security solutions. And I started by asking Jason how we would get in touch with them. Really, there's a number of ways to make contact with Power Right. We're, we're, in, we're doing security for the last 35 years. We've now moved from the Mall in Sligo up to our new uh, business premises, which is up in uh, the Northwest Business Park in Colooney. It's actually right beside Ocean FM's offices. Uh, so it's a lovely unit. We have showrooms in there. There's plenty of space. Customers can come in, take a look, and uh, see what we have on display, and we can price them there and then. Or normally what we do is, our key thing is, we actually call to the customer. We can do a live demo on Intruder Arm and CCTV. They can pick out exactly what they want and tailor it to their needs within the house, and we can fit it and uh, at a reasonable cost. And uh, we run a great service as well. I mean, 35 years, over 36 years in security, we do it all. We don't just do CCTV and intruder arm. We can, we can do key holding if you're within the area where we look after a key for the house. We do electric gates, automation. We do access control on doors. We do EV chargers, electric vehicle chargers for homes, which is becoming more prevalent now um, for the, with the environment. Well, of course, the EV chargers with the green wave after the local the election. Wave, yes. <laughs> We've We're all been going t- green. <laughs> We're yeah. all going green. I'll cycle down here to see you, Claire. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and might be even going for an electric car. Okay, so Jason, any of our listeners out there who are concerned and they might be a bit isolated, you know, what is the sort of most basic thing that you can get to protect your home? Where I normally start off is, and I said it before, I say it again. If you have no security in the house, an intruder alarm in the house with a bell box outside with a live flashing bell, uh, internal bell, maybe covering your doors back and front, maybe a patio with contacts, and then then it's about grading the alarm then. You can get a grade one, which is just a PIR inside and covering your doors. You can get a grade two, which covers your windows and your doors, where people can walk around. That would be a common one where people are in their older age of life. Uh, they'd go for the windows and doors because they don't want to think about to just come in and do one set on the alarm which they, they put in their code into a keypad or we actually can supply them with a key fob for setting and unsetting the alarm and it has a built in panic button on it that's a brilliant that's idea. A idea. And now you don't also you don't need to have um, a phone line. We don't use a phone line for your alarm as well. What we can do is we can actually put it across GSM, which is just like a mobile, and we can fit that in the attic or we can fit it in the panel, and you can have that going straight to the monitoring station. Who then they ring the key holders, or they can even ring the Garda if you press the panic button. We also can put in smoke protection or carbon protection as well, so you can have full full security as well as health and safety within the house as well. Which is so important, of course. Now, somebody who'd be living on their own, maybe an elderly person, they have the windows and doors very well protected. Then say the alarm goes off and they mightn't be in a situation to be able to run down the stairs with a basketball or baseball bat. What's the situation there? You have protection there. You have protection. Normally what they can do is if the alarm goes off, straight away when they unset the alarm from their key fob now that they can bring to the bedroom, uh, or they go to the keypad, the keypad will verbally tell them across voice what zone has gone off, whether it's a back kitchen window or a back patio or the front door, and then they can, they can treat it accordingly then, whether they want to ring the guards or ring the key holder or just unset the alarm. It could be a false alarm. What I mean by a false alarm, it's a genuine alarm. It could be a ball hitting the window. It could be a bird, a cat, very, very strong winds. Uh, can set it off normally but the alarms that we fit at the moment and have done for a long time they have the technology in them to wean out all them little false alarms so really 
genuine alarm, alarm goes off, uh, it goes to the monitoring station. The monitoring station will actually see what zone is gone. Can you imagine? They can actually tell from the monitoring station if it's a back door or a back window, the technology that's in it. And what they can do then is they can ring accordingly because they'll have a list what's down. They will have they can ring the key holder or if they see it as a panic button, they'll send the local guard station to the house. And because of air codes now, uh, they can the guards can find the place right away. No matter how rural it is, they will find it. Yeah, and that actually is a very good point, Jason. Yeah. It's important that if you have an air code, which everyone does, that you keep that air code near the phone just in case for an emergency. Now, Jason, can I just ask you, because this is a business show, so businesses also wanting to protect, can you put in cameras that people can watch the business from the comfort of their own home? Again, business and domestic customers is nearly 50-50 with us because we have an awful lot, we have a huge customer base, commercial on our books and we've been dealing with them for a long time again in relation to commercial premises it's to protect the premises protect the people that's in it coming and going uh, whether it's staff or whether it's clients product that's in the building also uh, health and safety and then you've got requirements and requirements which means stuff that they have to get done which might be emergency lighting fire alarms uh, obviously your intruder alarms and your CCTV will come into play as well we can do all of that and uh, we can fit all of that just a new regulation that's coming out as well you're talking about green and electric vehicle charges any premises now that is that is over 10 parking spaces going forward now this is in the plan going forward they're required to have an electric vehicle charger yeah if you have more than 10 parking spaces so this is the thing that the government the Irish government is, is, is kind of trying to bring in and it, it's a, it would be on the plan as well. So we do electric vehicle chargers, we do hotels, accommodation, hospitality, uh, schools. We've actually done, in the, I'd say in the last year, we've done um, over probably about 15 chargers around the country. We've even done uh, a mobile home area for somebody that comes back from France and actually brings an EV charger. So outside the mo- our mobile home is an EV charger. Can you believe it, the way things are going? Well, I think there's going to be a huge uptake in the uh, electric cars because they're going to bring out um, you know, good discounts and, and, and incentives. Good incentives. In Norway, there's great incentives at the moment where you can drive in a bus lane you, you don't have to pay when you're going across ferries because there'll be a lot of ferries over there and really they should be implementing that here and telling people about the benefits as well as the health benefits the benefits also you know yourself in your pocket people will listen to that as well and if they could find out that maybe that, that there's low tax or no tax um, uh, there's free benefit in kind if it's a vehicle and you're you're using it for a multi-purpose vehicle even though you're using it for work as well if they could do all of them things but we have grand centres all the person has to do if they're interested in getting an EV charger or getting an electric vehicle uh, car give us a call ring us a power right I can give you the number now that yeah. you can call you can call us on 1-800-938-881 or you can contact us on our website at www.prsgroup.ie. Uh, just type in Power Aid into Google and you'll find us as well. We're in Northwest Business Park, Colony, County Sligo. And as Jason said earlier there, they also have a showroom. So if you do have a security system at home and maybe you find it a, a bit of a, a pain typing in the code into your alarm, as Jason said, and he's shown them to me, they're little fobs that can set the alarm on and off. Very, very handy if you're getting up during the night. And also, um, yes, it's like a, a, it's like a, a co- code for a gate or a car key. Um, and also, if you have no security at the moment, just be aware of um, that, that there have been a number of burglaries in the local area. And Jason Mills, security advisor with PowerRight, a business that's been based in Sligo for 35 years, www.prsgroup.ie. Thank you very much indeed for joining us on this morning's show. Thank you, Claire, and good luck to your listeners.